shows two seconds left. Kansas is going to claim they should have three. And right behind us, the Wichita fans, delirious. They are beside themselves. Two seconds left on the clock. Wichita leads by one. Mike Jones has found a home 30 feet from the basket. Two of them. Look at this one. He is way out there. Let's it go, and it hits nothing but the cords. He has made two of those late in the ball game, and did you see that he was standing on the three-point line? If they had the three-point rule in this thing, he would have connected for all of them. Wichita State 66, Kansas 65, with two seconds left in this ball game. Okay, now it's it's not over with yet. Kansas still has an opportunity, but they've got to get one long pass, and it's got to be thrown past the half court, and whoever gets it has got to turn immediately and let go with at least a 30, 35 foot shot. I'm sure Wichita State is going to play somebody on the ball out of bounds to try to deny that pass. The other four people are going to try to pick up wherever they can. I don't know who's going to take the shot for Kansas, but I've got to believe Darnell Valentine's going to be close. Well, you have to think so. They also have brought Booty Neal off the bench. He's one of their better shooters. They'd have put no more time back on the clock. Kansas was wanting three seconds on the clock. They're going to leave it at two. All right, that could be very close to three. It could be very close to one, depending on how that clock is ticked already. Yeah, that's right. You know, if it's uh, 2.9 2. seconds, then it could be very, very crucial. Let's see how Kansas handles this and how Wichita State sets up. Later tonight, LSU and Arkansas here in Louisiana. The winner of this one meets the winner of that one. It's been an exciting game. Good basketball game. It really has been. Biggest lead has been six. There's the score. Two seconds to play. Kansas has the ball. They have John Crawford down court. Housie near midcourt. Booty Neal will throw it in. Valentine and Guy. Three guys in front court. Here we go. Goody Neal has it, running baseline, and we're trying to get a foul call. Darnell Valentine was trying to draw the charging foul. Jackson collided with Darnell Valentine. Kansas calls a timeout. Darnell Valentine set up on the baseline trying to draw the charging foul. Jay Jackson banged into him. Ted Owens, the Kansas coach, you're looking at Bob Hill, the assistant there. Ted Owens wanting to know why they did not get a foul call. Let's pick it up again. Let's see if it looks like a foul. There's an unhappy man. Here it is. Watch this right here. Watch Valentine. He's inside the painted area. Watch him move to the baseline. Here goes Guy running the baseline. Here comes the move. I don't know. That's a pretty close call. I don't know if it could have been blocking or charging. I guess the officials just decided to let it go. Now, I've got another question for you. Did KU call the timeout in three seconds? You get five to play it in. You have to call the timeout in three or you don't get it. And I've got to wonder if they called it in three. It's academic now because they've got it again. They're going to have to come back and try to run another play. I wonder if the Kansas bench told the officials what they were going to try to do. Oh, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they looked up. I saw them talking to two officials on the other end, but the one guy that was out of bounds underneath there and handed the basketball, he was the one who could have made the call. He decided to make a no call. Still two seconds left on that clock. Now, Kansas has no timeouts. Wichita State has one. Two seconds to play. Wichita State 66, Kansas 65. Kansas has Tony Guy, Johnny Crawford, Darnell Valentine, David Magley, and Moody Neal on the floor. Now they're going to set up differently with everybody at midcourt. They're going to try to throw to midcourt if they can. Magley, Guy, and Valentine at midcourt. Crawford down into the basket. Neal's going to throw for Crawford. Length of the court. Over his head. Wichita has the ball under their own basket with two seconds to play. Nobody touched the ball. It will go back to the Wichita end. And the Shockers in great shape in this thing now. All they've got to do is just simply get the basketball in. They're going to take a timeout and talk about it. That's exactly what we should do. Well, they can't foul. If they can avoid fouling and get it inbounds, Wichita is going to have their first victory ever over the University of Kansas. There's the score. Two seconds left. You know, Gene Smith, is, he says, we have got to talk about this. Let's sit down. We've got two seconds. We're going to get the ball in. I'm sure the first thing Kansas is going to do is press that ball. They're going to stay on top of the ball. If it comes in, there's going to be a foul just as quickly as they can commit a foul. I don't know if it's going to do any good. 
something happened there. Now, Wichita just spent their last time out. If they should get in trouble trying to get an inbounds, they can't call a timeout. If they try to, that would be a technical foul. Here's Ted Owens. Everybody, join outside and on them here. been some basketball game in the Superdome. What you do in a situation like this, Fred, is if you're the guy out of bounds and you see it's going to be call time, take the basketball and throw it at the feet of the man who is guarding you in bounds. That way the clock will start. You'll run some time and if it goes back out of bounds, it's still maybe a second, maybe two clicks will go off. So Wichita has the basketball and a one-point lead, two seconds to play. They need to just get it in bounds. In it comes, and a foul is called with one second to play against Booty Neal of Kansas. They have fouled Randy Smithson. Randy Smithson, the coach's son, young man that made two free throws that iced the Wichita State victory over Iowa. And now Randy Smithson steps to the foul line with one second left in the basketball game. Unless we have a U.S. Reed replay, I'd say it's pretty well over for the Jayhawks right now. Smithson makes both of these. It is over. One and one. Wichita by one. Smithson's first one in and out. It's got to go. He was going to throw the length of the court. He didn't get it. The ball game is over. And Wichita State has defeated Kansas. Wichita State defeats Kansas 66-65 in the Midwest Regional here in the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Look at the picture. That is Wichita, no doubt about it, celebrating a midcourt. Big time, Wichita State, first win they've ever had over Kansas University. Wichita State now will play the winner of LSU and Arkansas. Executive producer of tonight's game has been Dennis Kreider of NCAA Productions. Producer director John Crow, technical director, supervisor Bill Dipple. Technical facilities from WWL New Orleans. Score again, Wichita State 66, Kansas 65. For Larry Conley, this is Fred White saying goodnight from New Orleans, Louisiana. Final score again, Wichita State 66, Kansas 65. This has been an NCAA Productions telecast.